c of x is equal to negative 2 times x. We could just do this directly just by knowing how these kinds of functions look in terms of derivative. So we have the linear function rule. We know that the derivative of a linear function is always the same as a slope. Then we also, we could, if we wanted to, do it with product rule. So this is option one, is the linear function rule. Um, option two is going to be to do product rule. So product rule, the, okay, I have to identify the two things that are being multiplied here. So my f would be negative two, my g would be x, my f prime would be zero, because negative two is a constant, not multiplied by anything, and g prime would be equal to one. Then if I look at that, I can plug into the pieces. I know that the pattern is f prime g plus f g prime. So this is going to end up being 0 times x plus negative 2 times 1. 0 times x is just 0. So I still end up with c prime of x is equal to negative 2. And either way, I get the same thing. And so there I didn't really have to use, I didn't have to use product rule, but it's good practice to see that I get the same thing both ways.